Yeah, so obviously myelofibrosis, uh, tons of combinations that are being studied right now. So three main ones that are in, in phase three clinical trials, we have parsaclosib, PI3 kinase delta inhibitor, we have Novetoclax, BCL XL, BCL2 inhibitor, and we have uh, palabrosib, which is a BET inhibitor. And that's not to say, uh, you know, anything about loose powder set, which is also being leveraged in combination, it's really an anemia acting agent. But the other three are, are rational combination partners with ruxolitinib that we're hoping to get kind of deeper responses, longer term responses, potentially add on responses, all of them being looked at in, in similar ways, but also having different mechanisms of action. So we'll have to see. I think, you know, the, the question is, you know, when are you going to leverage a, a doublet, right? A combination therapy as opposed to single agent therapy. And I think reasons you might do that would be if you're trying to get deeper responses, maybe prior to transplant, get someone into a deepest response before that. Maybe if we're able to see changes in, in you know, molecular, you know, changes as far as Jack Tulo burdens, or maybe just even with the bone marrow, right? Maybe we're able to see changes in, in the actual morphology. That would give us a reason to maybe use combination over single agent. Um, you know, and certainly people that have massive splenomegaly or high molecular risk, we really need to see data there to see if this is going you know, to be an improvement upon single agent therapy.